everyone. So it is Friday the 21st of September. That means my birthday is tomorrow and it's only 1.45, but today was a half day. So the kids left at 12 and um, we were having our community service day today. So everyone from pre-K all the way up through 12th grade was involved in a community service project. We made cards <laughs> for residents of a, um, adult community of individuals with special needs and then we also made cards for our local police officers so we did art for kids hub that that youtube channel where they do the directed drawings and we drew a police car and i just had them cut it out and glue it onto the front of some cards so we use these cards my co-worker Peyton got these and so these are from amazon and you just they're already kind of pre-folded not pre-folded but they are they're they have a crease in them already. And so thank you, Peyton, um, <laughs> if you're seeing this. We appreciate the cards. So we did that and I need to go to the police substation. It's not far from here. Drop the cards off. Here are some of them right here. I was out this week on Monday for jury duty selection and then Thursday I was selected for the trial which was yesterday so I feel like I was never able to quite catch up this week. Our principal told us we could leave at 12.30. Kids left at 12 but I like I just needed to catch up and then kind of get ahead and get prepped for next week so that's what I've been doing. I just printed out the papers for our spelling test. We have next week we have a Bible test and a memory verse quiz on Monday. We have phonics and language quizzes or tests next week and just like getting my lessons and stuff together. I really would like to get to the point where like at the beginning of the week I'm able to just have everything ready and printed out to go so that I can organize it for the week ahead and not have to be printing things out every day. And I get some of it done in advance, but I don't remember all the time, like, if, did I print out this, you know, thing that I need or did I not? And so I just, as I was walking down the hall, got this idea. The papers for the spelling test, I just printed these out. So I'm not quite done with my plans for next week. You can see some of it is filled out. Some of it is kind of blank. So right here for spelling test for next Friday, I'm just going to do AP. And then that's a note for me to let me know that I've already printed it out so that I'm not printing things out in duplicates because I do that sometimes when I forget. So that's my new little thing, AP. And then something else that I've started trying to do is make sure that I have my schedule for the next day already up. So today's Friday, so the next time I'll be back is Monday. And there is the Monday schedule already posted. And then something else that I started doing that I'm just doing this year is I stack my resources that I need for the day on the table. There's a little desk by my door. I have written in um, Sharpie paint pen today's resources. And so that way if I'm ever out on emergency, whoever comes in, already knows like that's where the things are for that day so that's what I'm getting ready now something else that I just got the idea to do today is use an expo marker to write the date next to it so that we'll know which day the resources are for let's take a look so here's uh oh today's resources and then um, the date is 9-24 I do this in expo marker so I can easily change it each day and I just stack the day in order I'm not done yet so we end each day with social studies so there's that before social studies is Bible we have our memory verse quiz and our Bible test um, before Bible is math this is a lesson that I was doing um, on Wednesday and I didn't get a chance to finish it so we have that and then this is the lesson and before math we have spelling we do spelling on Mondays since that's the day that we introduce the new special sounds and spelling list I'll introduce this list on Monday and then before spelling is writing I don't need any resources for writing I just do the mini lesson and they just go back to their seats and work but I will show you 
what anchor chart I'll be using. We've already talked about how to edit and I've been doing it with them, but we haven't had a lesson explicitly just on editing. So I tell them edit means to correct your errors. And then I gave an example of that here. Um, correct your errors in your writing and we always edit with a blue pen so when we do editing I have them circle any words they think may be spelled wrong or they're just not really sure about um, draw three lines on un under capitalizing errors there's one more bullet point so I'm not done with this anchor chart but I do need to finish and then I'll show you the chart that we did or I had to sub do this chart when I was out on yesterday how to revise and I felt comfortable letting the sub do it because we've been revising all along. I've been modeling revising for them but we just haven't explicitly um I haven't done a lesson explicitly on revising. So here's how to revise it just means to change words or add words to make your writing better. We revise with a red pen. I show them how to use carrots how to use the delete sign and that is revising and over here are the pens that we use to revise and edit. Something you may not have known about me in my past life, like four or five years ago, I used to be a bit of an extreme couponer. So I got all those pens for free and I even have more of them down here. This is a bag full of pens. It used to be fuller than this. These are all free pens. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs of free pens. And this is from like four or so years ago. So you can imagine there were a lot more than that. But little known fact, I used to be an extreme couponer. Let me clean these all up and finish. I need to finish setting out my things for Monday. And I'm going to head out and go to the... Um, police substation so I can drop the thank you cards off. So I am on my way to drop off the cards um, at the police substation but I found this book today which I have been looking for for like a month. Have you filled a bucket today? I got this to read on the first day of school and I thought that it was the yellow book so I've been looking for the yellow book which this is not it and that's why I couldn't find it and hopefully I don't have a late charge on this right now. I'm at the substation now. You can see all of the police cars out here. There it is. Well, you can't really see the, the police sign, but getting ready to go in. Okay, so I just dropped the cards off. The lady at the window was very appreciative. She was like, thank you so much. That's so sweet. And she said she was going to hang them up in the back so that when the guys came um, back from patrol, they would be able to see them. So our work for Community Service Day 2018 is done.